this is the Iranga region. We're going to be looking for heritage sites and national monuments in this episode. We'll use Swakop Munt as our base. We'll day trip from here to the Brantford, Lachimbingwe, places like this. We start with a blood moon shot from the Rossing Mountain over Arandas. Then we're heading to Swakop Munt. This is a national monument. It's the old uh, railway station in town. It's now a hotel. Quiet town, safe. This is Swakop Munt and Rush Hour. This is the Lutheran Church, I think it's a monument. The school in the background is also a national monument. The next building we're going to is also a national monument. It's the Omega House and Otavi Barn. This was the hotel in Ochimbingwe. It's the only zinc covered metal building in Namibia. It was on the monuments list at one stage, but its uh, application lapsed. It's still occupied. That's Ochimbingwe in the background shot from the Boshua Pass. These are the mountains of the moon. These ruins are on the way to Swakop. We're heading down river from here, then we'll turn right at Granny Contes and head over to Rossing Mountain. This is Gone Contes. That's an oasis in the desert. That's Rossing Mountain in the background. We'll go over to Rossing Mountain and spend a day there. It's a very interesting place. It's the kind of place you want to bring closed shoes to there.
just on the other side of Rossing Mountain, we going to another national monument called Badgers. It was uh, built or put there by the, the Transvaal Scottish who were guarding the railway line against sabotage from the Germans. Just up the road, we head off to Omdal Dam. Omdal is empty at the moment. It's a recharge dam. Let it water out gradually to charge the Omdal aquifer downstream. This is Bitskopa. It's a place of national importance. Rock art everywhere. This is the Pondok Mountains right next to Spitzkoppe. Just to the east of the Pondok Mountains in the background is where you find Bushman's Paradise. I'll just try and give you an idea of the scale of the cave. All rock art sites in Namibia are national monuments. They're all heritage sites. They're protected by law. Bushman's Paradise is definitely a, a worthwhile climb up that mountain to get there. All right, from here we go back to Spitzkoppe. Spend a few minutes there and then head off to the Ronga Mountains. These are the Ronga Mountains. This is a place called Bull's Party. We are in the Ronga Mountains to find Phillips Cave, which is a national monument. This is Phillips Cave. As you can see by the plaque, it's a national monument. It also has a very interesting acoustic effect that somehow projects even a whisper way into the distance across the mouth of the cave. You can follow us on Knowing Namibia, NBC's Facebook page. You can find more information about, or links to information about heritage sites in Namibia. Alright, from here we head to the Skeleton Coast. We go to Terrace Bay and then from Terrace Bay we head south to Cape Cross where we 
1486, Diego Cao erected a Pedrao. And this national monument is the replica that was erected a hundred years ago, plus minus a hundred years ago. Up under boot and Kedela pilots the drone and we head south to the salt pans just outside Swakopund. It's a hot spot for birders. From here and we head back to Swakop Munt. At first we going to the other side of Swakop Munt. We're heading south looking for the amphitheater outside town and more specifically uh, an, an old runway that uh, I want to test. Just outside Swaka Point, head in at night. From here, we head down into Swaka Point Center, have a look around. This is downtown Swaka Police station in the foreground. It's the jetty on the left couple of monuments inside. This is uh, the road between Swakopmund and Balfour's Bay. It's a deadly road. It's probably one of the most dangerous roads in the country. We're going through the back. Want to see if we can get a shot of the Burman house at night. That's the old hotel Hornzollen. That's uh, the only example of neo-baroque architecture in Namibia. This used to be a municipal building for just a few years ago. Also a national monument. Marine Denkmal is a national monument. It used to be State House on the bottom, that's not a monument. Lighthouse isn't a monument, this is the mole. So from here, we'll take a night drive and head to Brandburg. Here we'll explore the area, we'll look for the famous white lady. This is the Brandberg Mountain at sunrise, it's, uh, it's a heritage site. Over a thousand sites of rock art. And of course, 
house of the world famous white lady. This is the Brunswick from the Uchap River side. The Uchap River is the northern boundary of the Irongo region. We all cross over here and go into the Kuneni region, just have a look around and visit Tweifofontein, Organ Pipes, Burnt Mountain, the Abahuab, and a place called Frieda. This is our last night at the Brunswick camping out and the International Space Station passes overhead. Just on the other side of the Uchab River, a couple of kilometers, you find Tweifofontein, you find organ pipes, burnt mountain. This is rough area, there are lots of dangerous animals, you still have to be careful. This is the burnt mountain, it's a national monument. It dates from approximately 120 million years ago of some interesting volcanic activity. This is organ pipes, it's um, a national monument as well, it's down the road from Burnt Mountain. This is Twerfelfontein. This is a World Heritage Site. It's an one of the most richly populated rock art sites in the world. This is the Twerfelfontein Valley. From here we move up to Freda. This is Freda, which means peace or umbili. It's uh, a rock outcrop just outside Twerfelfontein. We pass here, heading back to Swakopmund go back to town and check more monuments. I did the last few tests on the Bunda boots. This is the road leading from Swakopmund to Walthus Bay. 
Waffles Bay is uh, the Kwisip River. Kwisip River is the southern boundary of the Orongo region. So let's take a look at the jetty. The jetty is, um, was built by an engineering corps who were involved in the building of the railway line inland over a hundred years ago. The engineers who built this jetty were housed in the Kazana, which is also a national monument. It looks a bit like a fort but it served only as accommodation through the years. Now it's a backpacker's lodge. go back to earlier that evening, just after the rain had started. This is Antonius residence in Swako. There are two monuments in this street, three monuments in that road, including Krunerkrantz. This is an old fort in Kramersdorf, it's not a monument, it's a, a hostel of sorts just up the road from Krama House, which is a national monument on the corner of Lubovsky and Garoeb. This used to be the old municipality in Swakopmund. This is Princess Ruprechtheim, a retirement home and hotel, which used to be a, a hospital. This is the site of the genocide of thousands of Irero and Nama people over a hundred years ago in Swakopmund. So this is the Rongo region, heritage tour. It's a short trip showing us around. It's definitely worth a visit. You can follow us on Facebook on Knowing Namibia NBC.